All right, so today's quick tip is to alleviate, you know, trying to get a, a rope through a tight union. We're gonna show multiple different ways of uh, attaching a throw line to your system. Staying clear. All right, so now that our line's set, I'm gonna remove the throw ball. And the first method that I'm gonna show you is gonna be on an open-ended rope. So no eye termination, and it's gonna be the pile hitch. So actually take this and wrap it around. And we'll take a bite, come back over top from the underneath side and capture that rope. And then that cinches down. And then from there, I can adjust that wherever I need it. And I can pull my rope up. All right, so our second method is gonna be the snake, the coil, something along those lines. So I have a, a bowlin that I leave pre-tied on my line. I'm just gonna create a girth hitch down onto the rope. I can cinch that there. And then I'm actually just gonna make half hitches going up that'll coil. So the reason I would choose this over the first method or any of these methods back that we're gonna show next is for that super tight union. So if I tried pulling it up, I couldn't get it. I can now just make a bunch of half hitches. And then from there, it's gonna pull it a little more streamlined. All right, so this third method, we're actually gonna leave the throw line attached or the throw ball attached. I'm gonna grab the open end again I'm actually just gonna pass that through the eyelet there. Make an overhand knot, cinch that up, and then I can butt it up right there. So the advantage to this is this actually utilizes the weight of the throw ball to help throw that through the union. All right, so the fourth and final method that we're gonna show is just passing the throw line through your eye termination. Whether it's a sewn eye, a spliced eye, it doesn't matter. I just put two overhand knots there and then this is gonna keep this very streamlined on here. The, bit, the downside is that if you were to get stuck, you're gonna be putting a lot of pressure right here, potentially messing up your tag, which has all your information, your dates, things like that on it. But right there, I can just give it a good pull. Pulls it right through. So hopefully these tips will prevent a few headaches in the future. Like and subscribe, and as always, climb safe.